obviously a frustrating one to come off of is did New England do anything specific that that gave you guys problems? Uh, you know, they, they did a good job running what they do, and um, it wasn't I, I necessarily anything we didn't expect on film, and um, they just did a really good job of, of executing, and, and, and we really didn't. It felt like pressure was really cranked up on you in that game. Is that the way you saw it? Uh, I mean, that was certainly part of their plan, I'm sure, is to try to try to get me off my spot and, and make me move a little bit, and, and yeah, they were able to do that, but um, those guys fought up front and, and uh, did everything they could. Teach those of us that don't know, because I don't, but is it something where you guys watch the film and you go, well, this is easily correctable now that we've seen it? Yeah, usually it is, yes. Uh, it, it, it usually is, and I think, you know, it's it's just uh, it's limiting the errors. It's limiting the mental errors. It's limit, limiting the physical errors, obviously, but, um, you know, we just had a lot of them, and we haven't had a lot of them all year. We've, we've really been – better a lot better than that most of the year and we, we just had kind of had a lot of you know poor execution um consistently throughout that game gators out today kang our producer is in and he's he's got some questions as well jared uh coach campbell said after the loss it was kind of rock bottom what happened in new england would you agree and is it any different moving on from a loss like this compared to any other loss or do you just kind of it's a loss i'm, I'm just you know we got to move on and get prepared for the next next opponent uh, yeah, you know, I, th- I think the, the bye week's kind of coming at a good time, and um, you know, sometimes I've been in, t- in situations where you're, you're you're playing so well, and you really don't want a bye week. You want to keep going, and and you know, I think for us, we we kind of stumbled over ourselves this past week, and kind of need that reset button, and and need a chance to get some guys back healthy, and come back and go on a little bit of run. And I think that's what you know most of, most of this league is about. Is you see these teams that. You know, you go on good runs and you go on bad runs, and you want to limit the bad ones, and you want to, you know, do your best to grab onto that momentum of the good ones and keep them going. So that, that'll that'll be our goal coming back off this bye week is, is get that first one, and then, you know, try to try to grab a hold of it and, and get on a little bit of a run. How's the locker room, and and do you feel as the quarterback and a captain of this team, you got to do something different or say something to make sure that you guys stick together and and you're on the same page still? You know, I think we are sticking together. I, I think we are. We have a, a hardened group, a team who's been through some adversity and um, knows how to handle these situations. So, uh, it, it's it's a it's a good group to have when when things are bad. And and I and I believe in those guys for sure. Jared, we're hearing a lot about the fourth down attempts here uh, from listeners, and I know offensive players are programmed to always want to go for it, but it's obviously not your call. Have you ever thought maybe we should punt here? Yeah, you guys. I, I I don't make those calls. You know, it's I'm out there and um, Dan makes them, and and for for reasons that you know he has, you know, he has different very variety of reasons. Whether it's you know how the game's going, a million different things that again I'm not privy to. Um, and you know, it, I think back to the, the Minnesota game and people, you know, we're, we're all upset that we didn't go for it, and now you know people are all upset that we are going for it. So. He's just, you know, he's he's picking and choosing his spots, and and um, you know, obviously as quarterback on offense, I always want to go for it, and I'm excited when we do. But uh, we got to execute an 0 for 6 on fourth down. Um, typically, won't won't end well for you. Ben Johnson, your offensive coordinator, has shown a lot of promise, and you guys were were obviously very effective through four four weeks. What have your conversations with him been like about what's next uh, in the wake of that game? Yeah, well, well, we'll certainly see a lot of that now. You know, whatever they were doing to, to defend us, we'll certainly see that. But I, I think most of it was just, you know, kind of, I guess, our, our small errors and our, uh, you know, things that were, were hurting us in the first four games but that we were able to overcome. Kind of, you know, we weren't able to overcome them, and they kind of built up on us in this past game. And uh, it, it just was it was a calamity of, of errors and, and, you know, a lot of stuff that uh, we can fix and, and certainly need to be better at. You guys have obviously gone for it a lot in fourth down this year and since you've been here. And I know, you know, you don't make those decisions and you don't even call the plays for those fourth downs, but can you like help educate me and the listeners and everyone listening that do you guys have a, a specific like plays for fourth downs only, or is it just like any other like third down where you're like, Hey, we have this much to go. This is the play we're calling to get that first down. Like a specific matchup explaining the defense, or is like like I said, is this a separate play sheet for fourth downs? Um, typically no, you know, Ben, Ben will have his, you know, favorite conversion plays that, that, you know, I, I guess to answer like fourth and short, absolutely. There's a, there, I'm sure he has a little list of that, but you know, usually you're calling your third down plays and 
those are the same ones that you like in those scenarios on third down or on fourth down. And um, I know Ben, like I said, has his list of, you know, ones that are his favorites that I'm sure he uses on fourth down. And, um, yeah, it's it's typically the same. I feel like we've been talking to fans that are scared uh, that the the wheels might be coming off. And the, the offense was so good through four games. How could you convince those that are skeptical that that really is the Lions offense and not the one we saw this past Sunday? How do I convince them is, is by doing it against Dallas in a couple of weeks. I mean, that's the only way. It's uh, I'm not going to stand on here and try to, you know, convince them verbally you just go out there and do it and, and and be better and uh i think you know our numbers over the first five weeks are still top of the league in some areas so we've done some good things and and need to you know fix what we did on sunday and, and move on from it as quickly as possible knowing that we aren't that team and we aren't that offense was amon ron out at 100 percent in that game uh, uh no yeah. he, had a, he had the ankle yeah and do you see any word on uh, on Jamison Williams this week? Uh, any sign that he might be coming back soon or playing soon? Not not a question for me, but uh, <laughs> no, I don't know. Yeah. All right, we want to ask you about a hot topic in the NFL, and that is roughing the passer calls. <laughs> you are a guy that would obviously have a vested interest in how these calls are adjudicated at the NFL level, but people are seeing plays that look like tackles and thinking that's not roughing the passer. What is your take from your perspective on what we've seen this past Sunday and then in the Monday night game last night? Yeah, to be honest, I haven't seen those plays that uh, I was just briefed on it, but I, I haven't seen them. So I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to speak on those specifically. Um, but I don't, I, mean, I don't throw, I got a good one the other day and um, I got hit in the head and they got a roughing the passer or whatever they called. And, and, um, I thought it should have been called, and it was. And then there's been times where um, I get hit on plays that aren't called, and I thought it should have been. So uh, I think it goes both ways. I think you know, typically you get you, you see all the ones that you know were were called that a lot of people think shouldn't have been called. But sometimes there you don't see the ones where we get hit in the head or we get thrown down late that aren't called. Um, so there's a balance. There's a, there's both sides, just like any other penalty, I would say, and uh, it, it gets balanced out typically throughout a season. How do you how do you feel the league has handled? I mean, with your experience, the the concussion protocols, the, the player safety issues. Uh, I know they talked this week about hey, we're gonna, they're going to change some things to make it better for everybody. You, I mean, what are your experiences been like that with with player safety and yourself? I, I've I've been fine with it. I, I don't know what the rule that they're changing is. Um, I, I did see that, but I don't know what exactly is being changed. Um, I've been lucky to not have any concussions in my career and haven't had to deal with with that protocol really at all um but yeah i don't i don't i don't have much experience with it nor do i know what rule they're changing you know doug's very insensitive he's asking about your teammates but i want to ask about you jared how are you feeling actually i mean I, we're we're going ahead into a bye week i know cam coach campbell said that it's great for you know all the guys that are injured to get in and get a Get heal up a little bit. Do you need any healing up to do? Are you okay, or is there some? Nixon? I'm good. You're good. All right. I'm good. Standard week five stuff. I'm good. <laughs> All right. Speaking of the bye week, what's the plan? You got some time off. I know this week. Oh, what I'll you... just be hanging out. Yeah, are not you... not doing much. Apple orchard, wedding planning. What are you gonna do? Watch some football? Uh, yeah, probably a little bit of all of that. You know, it'll be a nice weekend to kind of take a day or two to relax, but. Um, you know, would love to be doing it, you know, being able to enjoy a win previously. It's hard coming off a tough loss like that. You know, you want to fix that stuff as quickly as possible. So uh, I'll try to let my mind relax for a day or two, but um, we'll be ready to get back in a couple, you know, in a week or so. Final thing, Dan Campbell's on our morning show and said he sensed no, he didn't think the, the resolve was any less just because of the results on the field. From a player's perspective and a team leader, is that what you are seeing? Still full belief in this group. Yes, absolutely. Uh, it, it, it really is, and I know it's hard, and I know from the outside looking in, it's 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 ugly at times. But um, we we know we have the players. You know, we 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 really do. We you know, I can speak for you know what we've done offensively, and uh, we've done it at a really high level, and we've done it you know as as good as anyone in the league. And I know defensively, they've made some adjustments that have helped them in, in, in some areas, and, and those guys are doing such a, such a better job. But we really do have have the pieces that that we believe we need, and have the coaches that we believe we need, and. Um, you know, it's, it's about runs. How do we get on a run? How do we beat Dallas? And then from there on, get on a run. And um, I think if we're able to do that, win one or two in a row, it, it'll be a completely different feeling around here and, um, you know, get, get some people excited about us again and, and, and really start rolling. But, 
you know, we still truly believe in ourselves, and I know I believe in myself and can continue to do this at a high level. Jared, thanks for your time. Enjoy the uh, bye week, and we'll talk to you soon. All right, guys. Thanks. There, there he is, Jared Goff, Detroit Lions quarterback.